His asking price is exorbitant. Teams uh, are not engaging uh, the Sixers with the kind of asks uh, that Daryl Morey is asking for. There's hope on the Sixers side that eventually, at some point, you know, they can get James Harden on board uh, about being in Philadelphia. Ah, mm. <sighs> here we go again. This man has the audacity to bring back the fat suit. <laughs> what is this man doing, bro? I don't understand the Sixers fans that accept, oh, yeah, maybe we should run it back. Maybe it's best for a team. No, it is not. This guy does not want to be on the Sixers. He does not want to play on the Sixers. Why would we want a player on our team who doesn't want to be here? He's not going to try. He's not going to give you the effort. And I've been saying this ever since I watched those playoffs. He had those two good games. The last two games, he literally quits on the team. After that, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm done. And Jay Williams says James Harden should feel disrespected? Bruh. Should Joel Embiid feel disrespected? This guy just won MVP. And you're going to leave him out to dry. Like, anyone... If, oh, there's a lot of players who would love to be in James Harden's situation who is better than James Harden. And I'm going to be playing Game 7 highlights of James Harden while I speak. So enjoy. Charles Barkley had some opinions on James Harden on if we should move him or keep him. And I'm going to be putting him up on the screen as I talk about it. So here's Charles Barkley on Harden. I think it's time for the Sixers to move off of James Harden. I think it's time for them to make that trade and turn the team over to Joel and Maxi. I think it's that time. That's just my opinion. James has been a heck of a player for a long time, but I think it's time for him, for them to make the best trade possible. And that's just my opinion. Yeah, man, he's stating the obvious. Charles Barkley also talked about why he thinks the Sixers haven't moved on from Harden yet. And he said, well, I think nobody wants to give Harden a long-term contract. I think that's the real reason. And I hope the Sixers don't give him a long-term contract. Yeah, we better not. But I think he wants a long-term deal. And I don't think at this stage of his career, because he's only going to get older. So I personally think that's the hold up of trading him. And we're going to wrap up talking about James Harden with this amazing play. Before I go into some free agent signings, I want to appreciate this man. It's his birthday. Our franchise guy. The guy who's untradeable, not on the market, Tobias Harris. The first free agent I think we can sign for cheap is Jalen Noel. He, he's on the shooter guy. He's the guy with the ball. He had a solid season last year with the Minnesota Timberwolves. He averaged 11 points, 3 boards, 2 assists off their bench. He isn't much of a shooter. He shot... 29% from deep, which is really rough, but he's a career 32% three-point shooter, and he has a scoring mentality, so he's aggressive. The next free agent I think we should sign is Juan Toscano Anderson. Toscano Anderson has a championship experience with the 2022 Golden State Warriors. He's somebody who can contribute on both ends. He didn't shoot the ball well last year. He only, wow, 18% from deep. That's crazy. But he's a career 33% shooter. And he brings size, toughness, length, and he's solid at perimeter defense. So he's a big that you can add to our stocked big man roster. We have like five now, including if we're going to add Petrosev. I don't know if, I don't think, I don't think we should add Petrosev to our roster, but Juan is a stretch that we can add. He can play defense. He, he he knows the roles. He's won before. He knows what it takes. And now the player that I want the most is Justice Winslow. He's often injured, but Winslow is more of a solid option, especially in the late free agency. He can handle the ball. He can defend at a really high level. He has high basketball IQ. He has great size. Especially He can help on the glass, but he's only played 114 games out of the possible 309 games, which is crazy. Um, but it's a shot that I'm willing to take. I think the Sixers should take a shot on Justice Winslow. I feel like it'd be a great bench option, a great bench piece. He's similar to PJ Tucker, but he's a, he's a wing, you know, so he's not a great shooter, but he can do all the little things and he's just a big body. You need that. I got to give some quick praise to my boy, Jaden Springer, because ever since the first couple of games, his jump shot's been looking nice. His ball handling's looking better. Look at that shot. Mm. Defense, you know, every game he's going to have a LeBron-esque block. He's going to get those steals. His jump shot is the only thing that really needs progress, man. And he, he's going to have his opportunities to thrive. Nick Nurse likes these kind of players. And look at that dunk. I had to play that. And I love Jaden Springer. I think he's going to have an amazing, amazing career. I'm excited, man. I'm excited for next year. He's going to have his opportunity. 
and we'll see what we see what happens. I hope Harden is not on this team. We got to trade him, get some depth, get some pieces that we can build on our you know for our roster. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I'll catch y'all. Like the video, subscribe. I'll see y'all. Peace.